I'm Rodrigo Donalizio da Silva. I am one of the UT Physicians Urologists. I am Associate Professor of Urology and the Director of the Stone Center and Endourology Program at UT Physicians. We're going to talk about benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, which is a condition that affects most men after 50 years of age or older. The prostate is a gland that is in the pelvis around the urethra, the thin tube that drains your bladder into the penis and outside. The prostate can grow with our lifetime and tends to start causing problems in men after 50 years of age or older. The symptoms most commonly associated with benign prostatic hyperplasia are difficult to start urinating, intermittency of urination, starting and stopping, the feeling that you cannot empty your bladder completely, increased frequency of urinations during the day and during night, sometimes urgency and urge incontinence or leakage of urine. If you are experiencing any of the symptoms, urological evaluation might be required. Talk to your physician about a referral. When you come to see a urologist, some tests might be required, including questionnaires to evaluate your symptoms, some image studies that could be ultrasound, cystoscopic images, which is cameras that we place inside your urethra and bladder to evaluate your prostate and bladder for obstruction or bladder signs of struggle. You might be requested to perform blood and urine tests, including tests that can measure your urinary flow and ultrasound to check if you're emptying your bladder completely. When we combine all those results, a therapeutic decision can be made to decide what is the best line of action for your case. The treatment for BPH includes behavioral and dietary modifications. It can also include medications for those that are experiencing more severe symptoms. For patients that fail medical therapy or have complications of BPH, minimally invasive procedures or surgeries might be discussed or offered according to your case. Here at UT Physicians, we have a variety of treatment options that can be offered for patients suffering from BPH. We can offer minimally invasive surgery for those who classified including outpatient procedures, but we also offer advanced techniques such as laser surgeries for a very large prostates and robotic surgery as well. Homeum laser enucleation of the prostate is an effective method to treat BPH for prostate of all sizes. It does not require any surgical incision or cut to treat your prostate. It can all be performed transurethrally. Through your urethra, we will insert tiny cameras, lasers, and morselators in order to remove the obstruction caused by the adenomatous tissue in your prostate and relieve the obstruction. The utilization of high technology such as high-power lasers, morselators, and small scopes will allow you for a quick and fast recovery. After these procedures, some patients might be discharged home same day, and some might need to stay overnight. The catheter duration can be variable, but we tend to leave the catheter for the least amount of time. Some patients might go home without a catheter, while some might require a few days of bladder drainage to allow a full recovery. The goal of BPH treatment is to improve your symptoms and quality of life. For patients with moderate or severe symptoms, we are also trying to prevent complications of the disease, such as recurrent urinary tract infections, hematuria, or blood in the urine, bladder stones, kidney and bladder failure, 